Testing, 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 testing. All right. Hi, everyone. Happy Tuesday again. Hope you all had a good weekend. Uh, today, we are going to talk about arthritis and some supplements that could help with pain management. So as we know, um, arthritis is associated with a, with a degenerative disease, osteoarthritis, which we all think of as an old person disease, something you don't have to worry about until you get older. And it, yes, it does affect, it affects everyone. The thing with arthritis though, is that this term is an informal term to refer to over a hundred types of different types of arthritis, not just degenerative types, but also autoimmune diseases as well as um, metabolic diseases. So, um, some of, so as I was mentioned, saying, there's osteoarthritis, which is the most common type of arthritis. It's a degenerative disease where the cartilage in between your joints, this little cushion thing here, it usually stops your joints from touching. But when that cartilage wears away, especially with age or if you're overweight or if you've been injured before, let's say you injured your knee really badly in a sports injury, it can increase your likelihood of getting arthritis um, later on in life. And when that cartilage wears away, the joints touch, they rub against that, the other and that causes a lot of pain and inflammation. Uh, another type, which is I think quite common is rheumatoid arthritis. Now this particular type of arthritis can be seen when people, when their joints and their fingers tend to get very inflamed, very knobby, kind of like almost round. And that's because their immune system is overactive and actually actively attacking their joints. So that's another type. And the last one we'll, um, the last example would be gout, which um, it was previously known as a rich man disease, but it is basically the buildup of uric acid crystals, which are which have a needle-like shape, and it causes a lot of pain in those joints. So it's called a metabolic a type of metabolic arthritis, and it is the leading cause of disability in America, at least. And obviously, it occurs more frequently as you get older. We all know the symptoms. The common symptoms are swelling, pain, stiffness decreased range of motion, and the symptoms can range from mild to severe. And in, in cases with severe symptoms of arthritis, um, it can result in a severe decrease in quality of life of that person, including chronic pain and the inability to do basic things like walking up and down stairs or even bending over. And as I mentioned, arthritis can also permanently change the shape of joints. So with rheumatoid arthritis, as I mentioned, you get those almost round kind of joints because of all that inflammation. And um, something that I also didn't know is that some types of arthritis, depending on the type, um, can also affect the heart, eyes, kidneys, and skin. So um, what is the current treatment for arthritis? Short answer is there is no cure but there is a lot of maintenance and trying to improve the cartilage and reducing inflammation and pain management. So whenever you go in for treatment for arthritis, it really depends on the type of arthritis you have and your medical professional would be able to assist you with that. Um, there is something called the total wellness plan, plan, which not only aims to treat the symptoms of pain, but also to ease inflammation, which is another cause of pain. Um, slow down joint and organ damage, improve physical function and quality of life, as well as aim to treat and manage the root cause if possible. Some changes that may, might be included in that kind of plan include changes to your lifestyle, such as um, losing weight if needed, maintaining a healthy cholesterol or blood pressure, and stopping smoking. And other treatments that can be included include physical and occupational therapy, exercise, disease education, so knowing more about your own disease, and complementary therapies. So there are some natural ingredients that can help 
that where studies have been shown that they do help with the symptoms of arthritis. And as always, when you're taking new supplements, do double check with your doctor first, especially with dosage and whether or not you can actually take them as there may be interactions with other medication you are already taking. So first of all, let's talk about collagen. Collagen is the big one. We all know that we need collagen. It's in the skin, it's in the nails, and it's in our bones. And it does play a role in creating that cartilage between our joints. So cartilage, uh, excuse me, collagen does help to boost um, cartilage production, uh, it help, which in turn protects the joints and allows them to move smoothly. And through consistent um, taking of supplements, you have, it, it does take a while because it's not an overnight thing. These things take a while for your body to absorb and use. So it can reduce stiffness, pain, and joint limitations. Another interesting ingredient is actually eggshell membrane. It's another extract, and it re some studies have shown that it can relieve pain within the first week of consumption in people with osteoarthritis. It is thought to improve cartilage building. However, the actual mechanism is not completely known at the moment as it is still quite a new ingredient to be thought to be useful in the aiding in the treatment of symptoms of arthritis. Another food ingredient is actually turmeric or that we all know from the kitchen. Um, the reason why turmeric is so good and helps with uh, pain, and pain, pain management and joint health is that it contains curcumin, the, the compound curcumin, it's, which is anti-inflammatory and in, essentially reduces swelling, reduces pain and stiffness in people with rheumatoid arthritis and osteoarthritis. And it was also found to reduce pain and inflammation as well as some non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs like diclofenac. However, with turmeric extract, not the turmeric you take from the kitchen, but the extra, actual extract, which is quite concentrated, um, high doses are not recommended for patients or people who are about to go to surgery, who are pregnant, or have a gallbladder disease as high doses can do have a blood thinning property. So essentially um, your blood, you bleed easier if you take too high a dose of turmeric extract. So as always, double check with your doctor before taking any supplements or any high doses. The next compact, the next ingredient is actually rooster coxcomb. So this is the rooster and then you have the red part at the top, that's the coxcomb. And this coxcomb is found to have high levels of hyaluronic acid. Uh, we normally hear of hyaluronic acid in skincare products for hydration, but it's also um, thought to help with pain management. In a study done with um, Ruta coxcomb, which was high in hyaluronic acid, um, it spanned over eight weeks and there was some improvement in pain relief and quality of life for the subjects of that study with knee osteoarthritis. Ah, the next compound is quite interesting. It's actually bromelain. Bromelain is a group of enzymes, very commonly found in pineapples. So, you know, when you eat a lot of pineapples and then your tongue feels very scratchy or itchy afterwards, that's because there's a lot of enzymes in it and it's very acidic. And some evidence shows that bromelain actually has pain relieving and anti-inflammatory properties. A 2005 German study even found that it activated immune cells that fight infection. And by doing so, it decreases pain and swelling in osteoarthritis and rheumatoid arthritis, um, which increases mobility. However, if you are to take bromelain extract or bromelain enzymes, it can cause upset the stomach and an increased effect of blood thinning medication. So as always, check with your doctor. And Obviously, because it is a very common enzyme found in pineapples, if you are allergic to pineapples, avoid bromelain extract. Next one are flax seeds. So flax seeds are a type of seed from the flax plant. They are very high in omega-3, omega-6 acids and lignans, which is a plant compound similar to fiber. Uh, and in particular, they are high in alpha-linoleic acid, which is an, which is an omega-3 compound and we know that it has anti-inflammatory properties. So due to these anti-inflammatory properties, it eases the symptoms of rheumatoid arthritis, lupus and Raynaud's phenomenon. 
uh, rheumatoid arthritis and lupus are both autoimmune diseases. And Raynaud's phenomena is actually quite interesting. Um, if you, I don't know if you will have heard of people who, when they go out into a very cold area, their extremities, so the fingers and the toes, go white very easily. So the circulation doesn't reach the extremities and they retract really easily. So that's also interesting. And the flaxseed helps with arthritis. It lubricates joint, lessens stiffness and joint pain, as well as lowers cholesterol. Uh, next ingredient, ginger. Ginger is awesome. I love ginger. Ginger is so, multi, it's so multifunctional. It is found to decrease joint pain, reduce inflammation in osteoarthritis and rheumatoid arthritis. You're seeing a common trend here of reduction, reducing pain, reducing inflammation, and it also improves circulation. And it's the anti-inflammatory properties of ginger are similar to that of ibuprofen or the pain medication. And even the COX-2 gene inhibitor, celicosib, um, the COX-2 gene, gene being a gene which causes inflammation in the body. And it, it, it has been found that it can switch off certain inflammatory genes, meaning that if you don't have the inflammation, you don't have the pain, right? So this makes ginger, ginger extract, an effective pain relief, relief and potential treatment for people with autoimmune diseases, disorders and cancers. So it's a potential, but it's not confirmed in any way at, the, at this point. So studies on ginger have shown that it does moderately reduce pain and disability in people with osteoarthritis in the hip and the knee. And it's also, as I mentioned, it's got a strong anti-inflammatory effect on those with rheumatoid arthritis. It can, however, interfere with blood thinning medication and should not be used by those with gallstones. So not the food ginger, but the extract. So you have to remember, it's all about concentration here. So the extra ginger extract. And as I mentioned at the beginning, before taking any supplements or any extract, especially at high doses, definitely double check with your doctor about any interactions that could, that could happen between your supplement and your current medication or any pre-existing um, pre conditions you may have. Okay, and the last ingredient, the last compound is actually capsaicin. So we've heard about capsaicin, especially in terms of weight loss, it gives it a very, a, a lot of heat, it produces a lot of heat. It's what, it, what you find in chili, it's what gives chili that heat, right? But capsaicin, instead of being taken as an extract for arthritis, when when introduced to the body as a topical cream or a gel or a patch, it actually um, activates certain nerve receptors for a prolonged period of time and causing those um, causing those characteristic characteristic um, feelings of a bit of pain, heatiness, right? And by doing this to the nerve receptors over a long period over a prolonged period of time, it actually causes those nerve receptors to lose their ability to function properly, essentially almost numbing your nerve receptors, your pain nerve receptors, meaning that you don't feel the pain anymore. However, with this particular application, it does need to be used consistently. Uh, capsaicin in many studies has been shown to be effective at reducing pain in osteoarthritis and rheumatoid arthritis, but as always, there is a precaution. This particular compound can cause burning and irritation, so it should be should not be used near the eyes in sensitive areas like the mucosal glands, any sensitive areas near the mouth, or on sensitive skin. So, what is all? So that is that are all the ingredients we're going to be talking about today. Um, in particular, for collagen, what was it collagen? rooster coxcomb, turmeric, and eggshell membrane. We are actually doing a promotion at the moment for people interested in creating their own uh, joint health supplement or joint health beverage. So for, for those four ingredients, um, the base price is one ringgit 50 for 15 grams per sachet, MOQ 10,000. And uh, you can treat the formulation as you like, however, Depending on how you change the formulation, obviously the price will change. So our base price for this month is one ringgit fifty per per fifteen gram sachet, and 
we, or as I meant, as you may or may not know, we do have a lot of ready-made formulations, and yes, you can change them to suit your market. All right, and we have an experienced R and D team to get to the result and the desired um, image, get to the desired image that you want. What kind of product you want? We can definitely do that for you. So yeah, that is all for today. Thank you so much for tuning in and listening, and I will see you next time. Next time we are going to be talking about three um, functional drinks and how to differentiate yourself from the rest of the market. So stay tuned for that and stay safe. Let's hope for the vaccine soon for COVID nineteen and see you next week. Bye bye.